Money is tight right now. And the pandemic's been tough on all of us. Many people, including me, have lost their jobs and are out looking for work and trying to find some ways to make a little money on the side. So I've started working on some projects that can maybe sell and help bring in a little income. Both for fun and as an investment, I bought a Snapmaker 3-in-1 3D printer, laser engraver, and CNC machine. The possibilities for this machine are endless, so I thought I'd use it to make a few things that others might enjoy or find useful in their home. I was talking to my wife about what to make, and she mentioned she can never find a good soap dish for the bathroom sink. So after asking a few more questions about what makes a good soap dish, I came up with this design. Apparently, one of the biggest problems with most soap dishes is that once the soap is wet, it tends to leave a goopy mess on the soap dish. That's because the soap ends up sitting in its own puddle of water and never seems to really dry. So my mandate for a soap dish design was to reduce the soap slime that sits on the bottom of the dish. My design has two parts, this ringed bit that the soap rests on, and the bottom part that collects the water and drains it back into the sink. With this being two parts, it's quite simple to clean up when and if it does get dirty. I don't think that any soap dish will avoid the soap slime entirely, but maybe this one will require less cleaning. I'm new to designing with CAD software, so I have to learn this as I go. This was my first iteration of the soap dish. I thought I had a decent design that met the requirements, so I set it up on the 3D printer and started printing. I thought it would look better with two colors, so I first printed out the base in this wood PLA. This material is really nice to work with, and I think it looks really good. The wood PLA can apparently be sanded and stained, but I've not tried that yet. I just like how it looks as it is, straight off the printer. My first thought for the ringed portion was to make it from wood, and I have a lot of wood that was reclaimed from the barn. So I set up the CNC and started cutting it out. It turns out that I don't really have the right bits for this, and even if I did, it'd probably be a little too fragile if it was made from wood. So I scrapped that idea and decided to 3D print it instead. For this part, I went with a white PLA. I think this ended up looking nice and clean. Both of these came out looking great and it's almost exactly what I wanted. The one thing that I wanted to change is that the insert sits flat on the base and the water does not drain away as well as I'd like. So it's back to the drawing board where I added some pegs to elevate it off the base. Now that I have my revisions done, I'm gonna print two at a time, starting with the bases. And now the insert. With that space added in between the base and the insert, the water drains away really well. And the air can get in there to dry it out as well. And if it does start to get slimy in there, then it's super easy to rinse off. Since I didn't really get a chance to play with the CNC function on this one, I thought I'd try to come up with something that will work well with wood. And what better than coasters? Coasters are often made from wood. And I do have the right bits to make some coasters. When I built the shop, I pulled a lot of wood off the walls. So now it's time to start using it. I had already milled down one piece of the barn wood to see how it looks, and I really like how it turned out. But the wood was quite thick, so I wanted to run it through the bandsaw first. And now that I have it cut to size, I'm ready to put the CNC machine to work. I'm just going to cut out some hexagonal shapes, and when they're done, I can use the laser engraver to add some artwork that goes with the hexagonal theme. After the laser etching, I cleaned them up with a bit of sanding and then added this combination stain and varnish. I'm pretty happy with these, and it didn't really take all that long. I think I'll cut out another set of these and use a different design on them. For 
these ones, I'm going with some mandala art. Again, after these were done, I sanded them down and added the same combination stain and varnish. I quite like these coasters, but I had an idea for a change that I think will make them even better. For the next one, I'm going to hollow out a space in the middle, and then cut them out. I have a lot of scrap from another type of wood that I used in the shop build. The paneling that I use on the walls is nice and thin, and I have lots left over from the shop build and from the pottery studio build. So I thought I would cut out some pieces to inlay into the hollowed out space in the coasters. After cutting them out, I sanded them down a bit, joined the parts together, and added that same stain and varnish. I think I like these ones even more than the first two. My next project on the Snapmaker is not one that I designed, and it's not something that I'll be selling on the Etsy shop. It's just something that I wanted for my own use in the workshop. But I do plan to design something similar in the future. But I'll need a lot of practice with the CAD software before I tackle something like this. These are just going to be used to hold screws and other little bits and pieces in the shop. I wanted to try that wood PLA again, since I think it looks so good. And I really like the contrast of the wood and the white PLA. But for the handles, I went with blue. I tried using the wood PLA for the handles as well, but not only did it not look as good as the blue, it is a bit more brittle and the handles didn't want to stay on. They just ended up breaking off as soon as you wiggle them a bit. Even the blue handles were having that issue, but not to the same degree. The problem is that the little posts are too thin and just snap when any pressure is applied to them. So I had to come up with a way to attach the handles, and my solution was to add length to the posts, insert them through the holes, and then get out the soldering gun and melt them into place. It really worked well. They hold on just fine now. The wood PLA has a different melting temperature than the blue stuff, and even when I tried printing them out on the high quality settings, they still snapped off too easy. All the blue ones are printed with low quality settings. They still look good, but they print much faster. I am going to have to build an enclosure for this Snapmaker pretty soon, and these little drawers will find a place on the enclosure so I can have commonly used items close at hand. After using the Snapmaker for a bit, I've realized it really does need an enclosure. You can see how much sawdust it creates when you run the CNC. And the laser etcher puts off a fair bit of smoke. So I'm going to make an enclosure that vents outside. Click here to learn more about the Snapmaker.